Today we're going to be learning that distance equals rate times time, or dirt. So, this can be used to find, um, say, how far a train traveled, or when trains intersected, or maybe at what rate a car was traveling. Um, it's all based on travel, pretty much, so let's just give a sample problem here. A train travels 85 miles in 5 hours. So we can put a variable equation, meaning there is one variable and then a different amount of numbers. So um, since our distance is 85 miles, we want to put 85 equals. Um, we don't know our rate, so most people might want to put r here times t, but it's actually going to be t times r because we know t and the number goes before the variable. So we have 5r. Now that we have our equation, we have to divide each side by 5. Why is that? Because um, in an algebraic equation, there's something called the property of equality. What you do to one side, you have to do the other side. Okay, and basically the short version is you want to get the R all by itself. Or isolate it. Yes, to so. isolate the R, you have to divide that by 5, and then what you do to one side, you do to the other. Continue. All right, so you can show your work on the side. Normally you don't want to put your work behind the problem. So, let's see. 85 divided by 5. Um, 5 goes into 8 once, carry it down. 5 minus 3, 35 goes in 7 times, and it breaks even. So, now we have r equals 17, which means the train is traveling at 17 miles per hour. So, you can always check your work by going back and plugging in your variable, or putting it right there. Let's do the work on the side here again. 17 times 5. Let's see, we have 5 carat 3. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 85. So that, that confirms it. The rate was 17 miles per hour.